for the Bible said that he that cometh to God must come believing that he is. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Ashriel King. And what I want to talk with you guys today about is why you should always go back to the word and not just focus on YouTube videos or even just focusing on anybody else in general. Everything you need is in the word and the word of God alone. But you see, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be like, oh, the Bible's corrupted, the Bible's corrupted. You can't really reason with those people. I've, had, I've come into contact with quite a few people like that. And some people can be swayed into keeping their mind open to the possibility, in my opinion, it's factual, factual, that the Bible hasn't been corrupted. Yeah, there are some new versions here and there that are, had the word slightly changed and some st st stuff like that, right? But in terms of corruption, God's word can't be lost. Well and truly, it can't be lost. And everything you need is in the Bible. So, always go back to the word. Take everything that you hear from anybody else and take it back to the word. If it lines up, then great. <laughs> They're not a false prophet. But if it doesn't, yeah, then you have a seducing spirit on your hands and you need to run. Get out of there. Don't engage. Because those kinds of spirits, the principalities behind those people, aren't going to take no for an answer. They will try everything in their power to confuse you. Right? And cast doubt in your mind. Just don't listen to them. And it might be, yeah, it's hard because even sometimes today, still, I get into conversations with people because I still like to debate. I'm open to debate. Right, I ask God for strength and he gives it to me. And he gives me the, the right words to say. Right, I'm not the one who comes up with all the stuff that I talk about. It is coming through Christ. Yeah, so. I can take no credit. <laughs> but yeah, it is interesting how many people are like, yeah, the Bible's corrupted, the Bible's corrupted, blah, blah, you can't, you can't take it. Just go back to the word, guys. If you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the one and only, and that the only way to eternal life is through him and him alone, then you sorted. You just you just need to live more like Christ from now on. No easy task, sounds simple, but this is what we are all called to do, sacrifice our lives for him, as like he sacrificed for us. Because the gift that we will receive at the end is gonna be beautiful. We can't comprehend how heaven is gonna be like, it's gonna be amazing. And so, I'm willing to go through all these battles for that reason. I don't care who says what to me. It doesn't matter. Right? It could be my best friend who says to me, Oh, no, Ash, you're looking at this all wrong, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. The devil will use anybody. Preferably, he'll use people close to you to try and cast doubt and confusion inside you. Don't listen. Right? It's okay to like talk to people who aren't Christian or don't believe the same things that you believe. But don't take heed to what they say. What they say may sound okay. <laughs> but if it doesn't line up with the word of God, rebuke it. Rebuke it. And that's what I've started doing. There's yeah, quite a few people in my life who are constantly challenging me. And that's okay. <laughs> that is all right. Challenges are there to be won. Right, because Christ has already won. He's already won. The devil thinks he's smart with these little victories that he may have here and there, but ultimately he has no true victory. The, the true victory, the final victory, belongs to God. Satan is in a state of delusion, and you'll see that in his minions, in the people that embrace New Ageism, atheism, stuff like that. Right, the New Age spirituality which is, there There are many paths to God and there's always yeah, Christ consciousness and stuff like that. Just rebuke all of that, guys. Rebuke all of that. Pray for the people. Still have love and support for the people, but pray for them from a distance. You don't need to get into the nitty-gritty of that. 
because it's not doing you any good, is it really? Sometimes it can feel like you're debating with a brick wall. <laughs> and it's just using up your energy. You can tell when it gets to that stage that you're, deba you're debating with a brick wall. The father will draw who he wills. It's not really up to us to try and convince people. Right, we can do our best by being a light to the world, but getting in debates and arguments, don't, we shouldn't be getting into arguments, but getting into debates, heated debates especially, it just isn't really great, right? It's okay to discuss. Healthy debates are great, of course, but take everything that everybody says when you get doubt and confusion back to the word of God, right? Anything that you're watching on YouTube maybe, including myself, take it back to the word and see if it lines up. Test the spirits, right? Have discernment. And pray, first and foremost. And yeah. <laughs> That's all I have to say today, people. So, God bless. And I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs> God bless, peace. Come on, everybody. Let's call Jesus. Jesus.